Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have gameplay from Pyramid and this game, this game right here is like the pinnacle of what this meta is. We have unconventional crazy board states that look like half built compositions that are all over the top two, top three, and even top first place boards. Because when everybody goes in really early, nobody gets those crazy, crazy late game boards. And you've got to piece together whatever you can with a very limited amount of resources. And sometimes unconventional heroes, they emerge. All right, enjoy. Beast, dragon, mech, murloc, and pirate. All right, I missed my four firsts in a row to start the day. That's what I miss. We need to go back to that. How do I get back in time to that moment? Go beat him off? Yeah, we could do that too, I suppose. Out there, fulfilling my goal of being a fluffer. With the Toki Pokey and you buff your blood gems up, that's what it's all about. Yeah, you do the Toki Pokey and you buff the blood gems up. Do the Toki Pokey and you clear the lobby out. You wait the lobby out. You don't clear out the lobby. The lobby beats you down. But if you wait the lobby out, then you get too big. That's what it's all about. This was a little bit more reasonable. But I think we hedged for three on three. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if I'm playing Quill Bore in a lobby, it means I'm in low MMR. And then as I say that, a person plays a board that hard counters. It hard counters, yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's about what we expect. Even at, even with the good high roll, the Quill Bore board just loses to the pirate anyway. How many turns do you normally wait for hero power? Depends on the game. When you find a high quality minion... If we got a permanent minion on this board or pseudo permanent minion, we'd use it immediately. I think we'll actually do the dragon stuff. Yeah. Ideally, I could wait one more turn. Do I think I tie this round with this board state? If I think it's a win or a loss here, I think I just immediately use it because the, the health just does not that matter that much come late game. You just want to use it to level a little more aggressively. But I think our board's good enough to win here. Nice. I like to imagine Bob's Tavern is just full of pigs trading gems to each other and it smells like bacon. All right, I got I got questions though. I got questions. If it's a place where a bunch of pigs are trading gems, why does it smell like bacon? Like, have you ever been around a pig? Like, they don't smell like bacon. Frying bacon smells like bacon. Are you telling me the place that's frequented by pigs is selling bacon? Yeah, like, a hot summer air does not make a pig smell like bacon. <laughs> Are they murdering the pigs? I got, I got, I got some questions. Honestly, like, I need some help over here with this one. Huh? Okay, yeah, okay. They might cool board might eat pigs. I mean pigs will eat pigs. Pigs will eat anything. You don't have to worry about that one. Oh, this is a really, really shit matchup for us. Look at this. My man stays down and plays double rooster, so he has a ton of health or a ton of attack. Clearly you don't hang out with pigs and a flamethrower too often. I'm gonna say. That is not my normal week -lit weekend uh, habits. Now we need to hit triple right. We have like no direction. I'm noticing a trend in your comments. Person in chat. On turn four. You have claimed we have no direction. <laughs> that was last turn too. It was like in combat. <laughs> Yeah, I get it. But like, we're just going four, man. We don't need any triples. If you're playing dragons, you don't even leave four. You don't care about five stars. Don't you do it. He didn't do it. There's no real reason to, to panic at this point. We just go in four. Figure out the game from here. We don't even know if we're playing dragons. It's looking a little more like playing dragons now.
I'm really not 100% convinced we're playing dragons, though. I don't want to play this in hand. I care too much about the uh, the buff. Okay. Uh, yeah, I could do with that. With the promo, I should say. Cursing over the wrong minion. We found a triple, guys. We're saved. Now it's all coming home. <laughs> okay. All good. Gray main, no future board. A fair amount of even. Two permanent minions or a permanent minion. Alternatively, we take zap and we use it to level. Or we take hate spawn and we use it to level. Cleave in shop? But yeah, you can't play cleave, though. Like, you're not going to stay down for it next turn. So why would you want cleave? Cart way before the horse. All right. Ain't happening, then. Not even take the 2-2, two -two, just so I can get the scaling from this. But we have other dragons on the board, so it doesn't make much sense. Surprise! The permanent scaling is so bad, man. <laughs> doesn't steal 10? No, it doesn't trigger its start of combat thing. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, it's... It's so bad. Unless you were going to 100% beat your opponent, you need to play it to the board. Brian Rylek. Well, that's a little cuter. This could have worked with the even count. But I don't view myself as losing that round, not with the Chimera opener. So, like, you got to be reading yourself super strong. Brand Rylex Swabby. So spend six gold so I can get two gold discount. I like it. Anyway, now. I like Brand. I like a lot of those cards. I don't think we read we're that strong again. But do you play any duos? I've played with four different people in duos. I played with Crip, played with Swaybay. Play with Hoppa Bear and play with Jeef. All of them fun, all of them very different experiences. I do prefer playing solos right now, and maybe when I get bored with the meta, then I'll go back to playing some duos. But right now, I do like the solos. Mm-hmm. 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 Wasn't even worried. Wasn't even close. Have you ever played the duos with the Bofides? Uh, I play with both of them, actually. You wouldn't even know it. Nice. We finally found a card that we can play on this board. Let's fucking go. It's the triangle. <laughs> Nice. We finally got a minion we can hold in our hand. It's neutral. It doesn't sacrifice stats. It gets pulled in last position where we would have played it anyway. Life is good. Hoppa was the best duo partner. I think every single person I played with, somebody out there was like, that was the best grouping. Some people out there were all about the memes with Sway Bay. Some were there for the chaos with Hoppa Bear. Some of them were there for the the support role with Jeef. And then obviously Crip was the first one before and it's hardly compared to anybody there. Plus Crip's awesome. Hoppa just brought the perfect amount of, of panic. <laughs> there was a moment we were like four hours in playing together and we just kind of muted each other for a while. 
It was so good. <laughs> like in real time, I was like, we gotta, we gotta breathe for a moment. <laughs> it's, we're going too far. It's too deep. At least I had a good time with it, I'll tell you what. A lot of attack on a board. On the other hand, we do have a golden chimera, so, like, you never really know. This piece of shit. This piece of shit. This piece of shit. Anyway... Good job, our shit. Not a fan of this go to six and buy three stars thing. You say Chimera different every time and I love hate it. It's because it's pronounced multiple different ways. Were you here yesterday for the fun discussion? The craziness. There's some people out there that are just like, they can't, they just can't even, you know? They just odd. They can't even. It was like, we were going to talk about Chimera a little bit. Just a little bit, you know, a little bit of Chimera talk. And it just, everything, the shit hit the rails. The rails were shit all upon. They were losing their minds over it. It was kind of priceless. I mean, even, even trees, not even a good thing to hold in hand after thinking about it. Cause it doesn't buff itself. I'm getting a two, two buff and potentially either losing two attack or four attack. The health doesn't really matter at this point in the game for small taunt. It's pronounced Worcestershire. Nice. Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> but I did appreciate how after somebody quite literally looked it up in the dictionary, people still fought it. They were like, it is pronounced differently in different parts of the world. I don't accept this. It's actually not okay. It needs to be my way or the highway. <laughs> It was so good, man. All right. Pretty good value trades. We got double set of hits for the Chimera. Why don't you do the 2-2 two -two on the tree this time? Because it doesn't buff its own attack. It's kind of shit all the time. As much as I like it. I really brought that beef back up? No, it's actually hilarious. I'm not salty about it. It's a funny conversation. Because we've had that conversation and... Yesterday was really funny because it was like the opposite take. I said Chimera and people said it's Chimera or Chimera. <laughs> and now we're all over the place. Leroy? I can do Leroy. We're getting to the very end. The last hurrah, the final hurrah for this board. Turn 11 is rolling around. The future's looking bleak. There's no demons to pivot toward. Our minions, well, they don't have to go home, but they can't stay here. It's pronounced Kamehameha. I think it's a different thing. Man, the trolls do be out in force today, though. They're just doobie people constantly trolling that nowadays. Last couple weeks. Or last week, ever since people went to Dubai. Can we pronounce it chlamydia? I don't think that's the same thing either. I'm not 100% on this, but... I'm pretty confident. Nice 045 you got there. It sure doesn't seem to be doing anything. <laughs> Oh, man. Wait, what? The third, the... 
045. Stole all of its attack. We don't need another four star. We just want like a magnet. Okay. Not terrible. Saw the bird, wanted the bird apparently. It's a classic right there, you know? Divine Shield, the scaling unit, so it doesn't take damage before all your other units die. Typically how we use them. Dragons on four. This is just glass cannon board, right? This is a mech board. That's a tempo board. I don't think he's going anywhere. Six dragons on five leveled on turn nine. I think he just got lost in the sauce doing between two different board states. So we really shouldn't need this. Kind of need to change our hero power or, or go ghoul. But if we go ghoul, it's really awkward because like, Obviously, this board, we have to ghoul in some way. How do you get the zero left bug on Chimera? I think it's connected to shields. It's connected to tripling or connected to... Uh, generating the last minion, I believe. I forget 100%. Could take Poet for the 12-12 and 10-10 permanent stats and sell what? Like, what would be a good good card to sell for, for Poet? You spend two gold to make your board worse? I, I think I'll pass. No, I don't I don't want I don't want to do that at all, actually. I'm gonna pass on that one. Look at that. Look at that scam. Spending money on things that are like side grades is, is really, really tough to do. Especially when you're talking about a dozen stats. Should pretty much be the end of the story, right? That's all she wrote. Next round, stats aren't the key card. We need a quality death rattle minion. What can we do for that? Microbots, maybe? Yes, I can module this, but moduling this is just kind of actively bad when we're going to tunnel blaster both the last two boards. So all we do is make it so it doesn't gain a shield up front. Doesn't feel like the play. <laughs> it's... It's just going to have no shield instead of have a shield. I feel like I would want evens on this board. I don't know if it would be bad. I like going even comp. I think is really good in this game. But we would have to drop a lot of tempo to be able to do it. I feel like this is just like, it's it's the world's worst conversation to have on Twitch. Because you're just telling people that they're not supposed to do what's fun. It's truly the worst. <laughs> what do you want to do? The fun thing? It's fucking wrong. No fun. <laughs> this meta is just so, so, so tempo. You want to go for that, that late game value? I hear you, but also you're just terrible. How dare you try to play fun stuff? No. I need death rattles. Preferably probably mech.
Yeah, maybe this changes shit. No, I don't have the gold to do it. Fun in my game? Are you daft? Exactly. I could just use this on the 50-50 that we get mech or, or beast. So I could sub this out for one. Pretty much know this is exactly the poet board, right? Four star dragon, six triples. We know what he's doing. We win by having more bodies, not by having a way more stats. I had fun once. It was fucking awful. Yeah, I would never want to have fun. That'd be terrible in this game. There's a good card. We need that to beat this guy. Because we have to go. Kind of a non-conversation there. You got a ghoul. And then you need to have more bodies than them because every minion on the board should just one for one trade. Okay, well. Or we could just win off of that alone. such a beatable board it's so good it's so good at damage control but people can counter you so hard like our board has nothing we just built it the way that beats that dragon board and we saw it coming a mile off because what what's a four star six triple dragon board right yeah i'll take that one too Probably should have hero powered here, considering that I took this minion. Or not hero powered, use the spell. Where mech. This board looks so bad, but it's somehow winning because we know exactly what our board state that we're fighting against is. We're just hard countering it. It's a bowl. No magnets in the shop feels pretty bad. Doesn't change much. I want this the 2020 one of them. Not really ideal. This can reset this, though. That'd be really good. Now this can go to the right. And we lose ever so slightly. Literally one health difference. If this was one health higher, we win this fight and we kill him. If we would have hero powered that minion, we would have won. Wait, is that a golden Leroy? <laughs> it is from the, from the Yulon. We will find a magnet. We don't sell anything through the board. Okay, so we have multiple minions that could be in the range of about 50 damage. 30 or 23, 8, and then 34 times or 40 added to each of those. So we could bring this up. Maybe it could survive the thing that gets the 50. We can bring this thing up and it would survive the things that were naturally at 23. Hmm. Got a bit, of a bit of a problem of him pulling the Terracosa back too, but... Go 
also lead hate spawn instead of ghoul. Kind of an interesting thought too. Could also buff this to maybe kill Leroy. I didn't think about doing that. That might be the play. He has death rattles. This can fuck him. Guys, he's getting fucked by his death rattles. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the little one ones that are on the Terracosis can absolutely reset shields. <laughs> All right. Well, when people go dragons, you go bodies. Bodies beats dragons. There's just not enough health on the board. These things are so nice against dragons. It's actually like their, their best place in the game. Because when you go ghoul and you blow up all their shields, you add shield to them. Let the bodies hit the floor. That was such a funny one. I love it. Man, we get we get some weird games this meta. I'll tell you what. Top one scaling off the Chimeria. True. 